Hi guys, I'm Catherine and I'm back with another book review. As always, you guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about A Killer's Mine by Mike Omir. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the book. I'm going to talk about the characters. And I'm going to go into the story a little bit. So basically this book takes place in... Um, Virginia and we our first character is Zoe Bentley she is a consultant for the FBI she is a behavior analysis um, person but she's a consultant so she's not an agent and then our second character name is Tatum Gray he is an FBI agent and he was transferred from the LA Phil office to Virginia from an incident that happened with a suspect. This book is about um, they go to Chicago and they are investigating a crime of murder. Basically a serial killer is embalming women and she is trying to figure out what his motives is and she's also trying to do a profile for this guy so it can help the police. And as the book goes on, you get flashbacks of her childhood. Um, these, what I like about this book, it's very easy to tell when the flashbacks are happening. And it also like relates to the story so they don't just put a flashback in there and it has nothing to do with the story. Every little chapter is like in, is like woven to the story. Um, I really, really enjoyed this book. <clears throat> so anyway, it, so she goes there and she is kind of, Zoe is kind of a no-nonsense attitude. She, there was this other profiler there who's basically just there for the fame and to do like, kind of like almost like press work. And she gets him she basically tells them, like, you know nothing, like, you don't know what you're talking about. And she tells the detective that's in charge of the case that he needs to dismiss this guy who's working with them. And he eventually does, and it causes, like, this big stink and this big issue. <clears throat> and so they, so she, so he gets kicked off and... Zoe is just focusing on this profile and it goes in a little bit of her backstory. Um, when she was a child, there was murders happening in her hometown and it happened to be a serial killer. And this is how she got interested in, um, this is how she got interested into this line of work basically. So it, so with each, I think with like every few chapters, um, it goes from, I think it was like 1995, um, the flashbacks were, and it goes into her hometown and what else, what else? I'm trying to think of what else. This book was just, I love this book. It was amazing. I have to give it five out of five. Um, what else? There was, I'm trying not to go into spoilers, so I'm trying to stay out of spoiler territory. Um, there's also this guy <clears throat> that had to do with the murders in her hometown. Um, he sends her ties and she sends her gray ties and it's significant with the ties that he basically killed people, killed girls with. <clears throat> and so Zoe's being targeted by a serial killer uh, as well. And what else, what else, what else? And there, I mean, this book also has its funny moment. So Tatum, uh, so Tatum's grandfather is living with him and they have a cat and this cat is a hell cat basically is what he described it in the book and he I guess when Tatum was away 
the cat did something to like pee in his shoes or something like that. Anyway, it was funny. And then the grandfather, um, there's this one part in the book where the grandfather left the house without Tatum knowing. And when Tatum gets home, uh, there's an officer with the grandfather and the grandfather's pretending like he doesn't know where he is. Little, then you find out the grandfather is very smart. <laughs> so he did it so he couldn't get in trouble. Um, he was, I think he was buying drugs for his lady friend. So I really, really enjoyed this book. It was really funny. I enjoyed the character growth. I enjoyed the character development. If you are into like murder mystery type books and you're into serial killers, I highly recommend this book. Um, there are some things in this book. It's not... It's not as graphic as Karen Slaughter books, but um, it's a little bit graphic. Um, not, it's not. If you read Karen Slaughter, you could read these. I mean, it's really not that bad. Um, they talk about, pedo, not pedophilia. They talk about when you have sex with a dead body. I forget what it's called. Um... There's that, and it doesn't really go into detail, it just, I mean, they just talk about it, and then he embalms them, so. So, what basically happens is he embalms them to keep them, like, forever, but then he ends up discarding the body because he's still learning how to, um, embalm. So, and she kind of picks up on that. So, she's very, the character in the book, Zoe, she's very, very smart. And her and Tatum kind of very disagree on a lot of things. They disagree on the um, the profile. <clears throat> um, they disagree on... Um, what else did they disagree on? They disagreed on the profile. They disagreed when Zoe was trying to conform a um, connection between her hometown serial killer and this serial killer. They disagreed on that. They disagreed on a bunch of stuff, and it's funny because she has a thing for him, but they really don't explore it into this book. Like, it's, um, if you really like romance books, this isn't really one. Um, there's no, there was really no, there's no sex scene in there, nothing like that. Um, but there was one part where she says, like, she wants to, like, they were eating, they were having chocolate and beer, which is a weird combination, but that is, like, besides the point but they were having chocolate and beer and there was one point where she said like oh I want to kiss him and then she kind of just like I guess talked herself out of it which I don't know I like I like I like that he like the author is like planting seeds in there but he hasn't it's like it's not like typical books where you know in the end of the book by the end of the book they have a romantic connection is not with this one which is very it's different for me and I really like it so I enjoyed it immensely I've started to read the second book in this series and my next review is going to be on Resident, Resident Evil the uh, Resident Evil the um, Umbrella Conspiracy by S.D. Perry and that is going to be my next book review um, I hope you guys like this book review, um, and if you guys, and we're gonna go see Spider-Man tonight, so I'm excited about that. Um, I definitely want to do a Resident Evil movie review. Um, if you guys are Resident Evil fans, I recommend you go see it and make your own assumptions, but I will definitely be posting that video, and I think I might do a Spider-Man video. Um, with no spoilers, by the way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, as always, please like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out, and I know you guys like the content. And as always, you guys, have a safe and happy day. Bye.